Okay. We're going to take that band and slide our feet through it. And so we up towards the center of the upper thigh. We're going to take our hands behind those thighs, sit nice and tall. Give me a nice big inhale. And on the exhale, tuck your tail. Lengthen your arms. Is that a challenge already? Yes. And we're going to come all the way down. Arms are flat, slide those heels underneath the knees. Now make sure you have resistance on that band. We're going to tuck that tail and bridge up on an inhale, belly in, hips up, shoulders down. Exhale, articulate your spine back down, keeping resistance against that band. Try that again. Tuck that tail, inhale up. Exhale, melt back down. Slide those fingertips even closer towards your heels. Tuck that tail. Inhale, lengthen and scoop. Exhale, we're going to do one more. And we're going to stay up in that bridge this time. Tuck your tail, inhale. And on the exhale, stay right here. We're going to do little marches. The right leg is going to go to a tabletop. Place it back down. And then the left. And down. Right. Take your time. Left. And your band shouldn't get all bunched up, so you might be going too high, or you might not have the band in the right spot. Lift up on an exhale. Inhale down. So I'm just doing these little marches. Yep. If you need a break, just lower your hips back down to the floor. I'll do one more each leg. You got it. Two feet down. Reposition those hips a little bit more, higher up towards that ceiling, and then we'll lower back down. Hand over hand behind the head, elbows are wide. We're going to continue with those marches again, because I'm going to give the option to nod the chin to your chest and do a crunch. So my leg will tabletop, I'll crunch up, and then come back down. Other leg, exhale, two, inhale, two. Exhale, two, inhale. I am not using my hands to lift that head up. I'm using my abdominal muscles. Make sure you're using your breath. We exhale back, it's nice and heavy. And then it goes to neutral. Exhale, and inhale. Exhale. Now I'm gonna hold this one up. We're gonna take the opposite shoulder as leg. Twist across, and as I unwind, put those toes back down. Lift those same toes back up, rotate again, and then lower those toes. If you prefer to put your head down, that's fine. Exhale, lift as I twist, inhale down. Four more, exhale, inhale. Three more, if your head is going to stay lifted, make sure it's eyes to belly, and shoulder blades off the mat. And last one, Exhale, and then release. <laughs> okay, isn't that fun? Let's try the other side. So I'm going to crunch up, hold, rotate the opposite shoulder towards that leg, unwind, tap the toes down. Exhale as I rotate again, elbows are wide, tap down. My lower back should be staying against my mat, and you can have the head up the whole time. Or lowering it with the toes. Use your breath. We got four more. Bringing the water out of your cage, tapping down. And three, two more left. Exhale as you rotate. Inhale down. Last one. And release. Take those arms in a goal post out to the sides. Float your knees to one side. Get a nice stretch in that back. Bring it back to center. And the knees go the other side and bring it back to center. Arms straight up to the ceiling, shoulders are heavy. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, nod it to your chest and reach those fingertips to the wall in front of you. Hold right here. Both legs will tabletop. Tap the toes back down and then release the head and bring the arms back up over your chest. Nod that shin to your chest, reach those fingertips long, back is heavy. Tabletop both legs, tap those toes, and come back down. Nod that shin to your chest, 
Exhale, knees up. Inhale, toes down. Exhale, head down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, table. Tap your toes, head and arms. Last one, inhale. On the exhale, stay right here. Band is tight. We're gonna pump the hundred. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, ten. Breathe in for the nose and out the lips. You can have your head down at any time. Inhale and exhale. We're moving into halfway there. If you want the other half, bring those legs straight up. Keep the band tight. My heels are turned in, toes are turned out. But my legs are apart because I want resistance against the outer thighs and outer hips. I'm inhaling and I'm exhaling. I'm moving from my armpit muscles, my back muscles, not the front of my shoulder. And last one. Hold it here, take the hands behind the head. Nod that chin over to that chest. I'm gonna take my legs out wider and then back in. Inhale. Exhale. Feel free to put your head down at any time. Press out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Out. You got it. Three, two, and one. Head down. Hug those knees in. If your neck needs a little stretch and release, look to one side. And then look to the other. Good. Then we'll rock ourselves all the way up. And we'll slide our bands down. It's not about my ankles. I'm going to take my legs as wide as I need to make that band tight. Legs are straight. Feet are flexed. I'm going to round forward and have my arms parallel <clears throat> to my legs. And my arms are right next to my ears. You choose how far you roll down. I'm going to take it all the way down. I'm just going to try. I'm going to roll those shoulders back, tuck my tail. Yep, keep that band tight and bring it all the way down. <laughs> okay, nod that chin to your chest. Inhale, find that lower back. Press against that band, exhale. And the belly button should press back as you come forward. And again, the arms are right next to your ears. Now keep reaching for that wall in front of you, but roll back. Roll back, connect those shoulders to your back. Keep resistance on the loop band. And here we Eyes to belly, inhale, to exhale. The belly button pushes back as the arms go forward. Bring it back again, keep that band tight, melt those shoulders, breathe. We inhale to start, exhale to finish. Give me one more. Eyes to belly, inhale, to exhale. And we'll bring it back. Make this the most controlled of all of them. Get that lower back to touch mid back and reach those arms all the way behind you. Circle the arms around and hug those knees back in. Good. Okay, I want you to rock yourselves up. I'm gonna get the band behind my feet and we're gonna come into a quadruped position, hands and knees. Can you do that and not lose your band? <laughs> if it's easier for you to take it off and put it back on, that's fine. So I'm going into a plank, and if just staying here into a quadruped is best for you, stay like this. Otherwise, I'm going to curl those toes under and press my legs straight back. So I want you to have your shoulders over your wrists, tail is tucked, back is flat, belly pulling in. I'm going to take my right foot and tap it forward, and then put it back out. Keep the band tight. Left toes come back out. So I'm driving forward from that belly. I'm gonna exhale, tapping forward, inhale, reset. At any time you need to get out of this position and just take a break, lower your knees to the mat and regroup and come back when you're ready. And back. Exhale, inhale, good. Forward, back. Drive from that belly. Can you feel the ab crunch going on? Squeeze those armpits, give those shoulders a little bit of support. One more side, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, release it and stretch back. Give those wrists a little break, palms up, fingertips to rest. That go okay? 
It's quiet. <laughs> okay. So now I'm gonna walk my hands out a little further, curl those toes under, and I'm reaching out here because I'm gonna press out to a plank. Got it? So I'm gonna drive through my legs and my arms, press out to a plank, and then I want you to come back to where your knees are just under your hips, press back out, hold, two, three, bend down. Press out, I'll show you modification, I'm gonna come back to my knees. And guess what, I'm gonna keep my knees on the mat, come into this modified plank and then come back and press out, modification here. Bring it back, can you give me two more? When you bring it back, make sure it's knees and hips, don't go too far. Last one, hold here, and release. All right, stretch those wrists again, palms behind you, curl the fingertips to your wrists. We're gonna flip back over, and I'll slide that band back up to center of my upper thigh. And we're gonna do some scissors. If your legs are up and it's feeling straining to your lower back, make a football tee with your hands and put that underneath your seat. So anytime you feel like you just need some support to your lower back, try that, okay? So I'll start my knees in to get my back nice and heavy. And I'm gonna zip my legs up. Now, depending on how tight your band is, you might be able to have your legs together and the band still tight. If it's loosey-goosey, it's gonna fall down. You're gonna to have to press the legs out to keep the band on. All right, you can have your hands on your seat. You can have them to your side with your head down. You can nod your chin to your chest with the arms pressing down or chin to chest with the hands behind your head. That's a lot of options. My right leg is gonna press down. My left leg is gonna to come towards me, come to the center. Then my left leg goes away, my right leg goes towards me, back to center. Scissor, pause. Scissor, pause. If your head is lifted, eyes to the navel, shoulder blades off the mat, but the base of the shoulder blade is on. And try to really pull these legs apart. Good. Now, if you want to add some arms, I'm going to take my arms up. And as the right leg goes down, my right arm's gonna go away. I'm not gonna stop in the middle anymore. I'm gonna pass and switch and switch and switch. Boom and boom. Watch your neck, watch your back. Press into the band in both directions. Four and three, good. Looking good, stay strong, two, one, and release. Okay, pull those knees in, feel that release in that lower back. How about the neck? Look side to side if you need to release it. Amazing. Okay, take your hands underneath your seat and bring those legs straight up. I'm gonna Pilates V if you can have the band still tight. I'll take my eyes to my belly. You can keep your head down, that's fine. I'm gonna go down, two, three, open, close, up, two, three, open, close. Down, two, three, open, close, up, two, three, open, close. Inhale. Inhale, two, three, exhale. Inhale, two, Three, exhale. I'm just pressing out to that V. You choose how to make the V, how big you make it. Out, in, down, 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 and pause. Up, 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 and pause. Down, two, three, and pause. Up, two, three, and release. How'd that one go? <laughs> okay, I need to get my band behind my feet. I don't think I can do that laying down. If you want to try, go ahead. I'm going to rock myself up and slide it down. Now, if rocking up and down is not cool for you, roll to your side and push yourself up. It's less momentum, less movement for the head. Got it? All right. So my band's not too new, so I'm going to have to go probably wider than some of you guys but I want you just to have the band tight. 
Lay back down, hug those knees in with your hands on your shins. So we're always gonna have to come back to those legs being wide so we don't lose the loop. Hand over hand behind the head. This is the crisscross. I'm gonna nod my chin to my chest, hold it right here. My right leg is gonna push out. My right shoulder is gonna turn towards that left leg, come back to center, either head down or head stayed up. Now the left foot pushes out, my left shoulder rotates, come back to center. Let's exhale the twist, inhale, regroup. Now don't get caught whipping that elbow around to your head. I want you to keep those elbows in a straight line. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Twist back to center and Twist. How are we doing? If you need a break, take one. I'm going to do one more each side. Last one. And release. Let's bridge up. Uh, doesn't that feel good? You want to release the chest, shoulders, get a stretch there. I'm going to clasp my hands and reach for my heels. And I still feel my outer thigh, outer hip, and glutes because i got some resistance on that band. And that's okay. Now reach those arms behind you, sweep them behind you. My palms are up. I'm gonna inhale nothing, but on the exhale, I'm gonna slowly melt my spine back down. And I take quite some time because I have some tight spots that I wanna make sure are coming down before the next vertebrae is supposed to come down. And then when you've made it all the way through, sweep those arms around and hug those knees in. And we'll rock ourselves up, or you roll to your side and bring yourself up, whatever feels best for you. Okay, so I'm going to take the loop band off my feet and put it between my wrists, my hands. I'm going to take my legs as wide as my mat. So I have to move that watch a little further up because that's where my band's going to go. I want you to reach those arms nice and long with my legs. Now, if you cannot sit tall because of tight hamstrings, tight hip flexors, you're going to need to bend your knees. I want you as tall as you can get. If those legs are straight, feel like you're pressing down the upper thigh to where it meets the glute, press that into the floor. Give me some resistance on that band. I'm going to inhale, grow tall. On the exhale, I draw my chin to my chest. As my arms reach forward, I round off that wall. My belly button presses in. But I keep my lower back against the wall. Squeeze the butt, drive that navel in, and bring it back up. Inhale up, exhale. This whole time, I'm pressing out against that band just a tiny bit. I feel my serratus anterior, my armpit muscle firing. Stack up from your core, not your back. Inhale. Exhale. You should feel those armpit muscles working. It's like, oh my goodness. Inhale up. Please don't feel this in your back. And one more. Chin to chest. Belly scoops. Breathe. Bring it back up. I want you to bend those arms towards you. Good. I'm going to press out and back to bend. Straight. Good morning. Good morning. Press out. And then we have special guests today. <laughs> oh, we should ask them to join us. That's right. I want you to feel the back of those arms as I straighten with resistance. Give me two more. Think of the crown of the head holding up that ceiling. One more. Now from here, I'm going to just press out a little bit and back in. Out, in. And three. It's small. Two. And one, and lower those arms. Now come to a 90 degree here. My upper arm is to my side. My palms are facing up. Both arms are going to press out and in. Out and in. So it's a little bit of that rotator cuff working here. So again, hold the tray with your forearms. Keep your elbows glued to your side. Look straight ahead. All of a sudden, everyone's head's looking down. <laughs> Yeah, you're busted. Four, uh-huh. Three, good. Two, and 
negative one and release. Soften your knees. I want you to take the band behind your left arch. And my right hand's gonna cross over and grab onto it. So I'm slightly rotated, right? Because here would be straight, but for me to come here, I have a slight rotation. But I did not take my hip with me or my butt sheet, okay? The other hand's gonna go behind this thigh for support. And all I want you to do is follow that elbow back and then unwind. But when you unwind, it's not, I want you to stay lifted. Pull the elbow back. The palm has rotated, it's facing me. And then it's going to rotate to face the floor. I pull back, inhale, exhale. So I'm working my back as well as getting that rotation. So have the hand pulled to your waist, to the hip. So it's not a wide grip row. Yep, you got it. Now, look at that wrist for a second as you're pulling back. Make sure the wrist is straight. And this hand here, it's holding you up, can work as much as it wants to keep that spine tall. Good. Inhale, exhale. One more. Now, don't rotate anymore and just pull and stretch and pull. So my elbow is pulling back and then stretching over. Pull, four more, four. I'm not moving my back though, I'm not going like this and then pulling back, I am one spot here. Two more, and one, and release. Okay, switch the feet, that go okay? Do I need any modifications given? Look behind that arch, either hands behind my thigh. So my palm that's holding the band is face down. And I want you sitting tall, so I can't be like this. So if you have to bend your knees more, roll your mat, sit higher, sit on a yoga block, if you got a ball, are you ready? I rotate, my palm turns to face me, and then it turns down. Inhale, keep growing taller and keeping just as tall. I should see your eyeballs meet mine right here. Meaning don't be going like this. You don't need to watch the elbow. I do want you to be in rotation. Spring is here. Golf is starting. How's our spine, our hips? Ah, shoulders. Don't forget the breath. Inhale as I rotate. And if rotating doesn't feel good to you, don't rotate. I'm gonna take the rotation out, keep looking straight ahead. I'm gonna pull, stretch the muscle, strengthen. And now I'm exhaling as I pull back. Four, good. Three, two, and one, and release. Take two feet through the band. I'm gonna slide it back up. And I'm gonna go back to a tabletop position. Now, I know a lot of you guys bring all of your props with you. If laying on your back and having your feet and legs up bothers your lower back, put the ball underneath your pelvis. Have a bridge up and stick it under there. Feel free to go there, okay? If you got a ball, feel free to use it. All right, so we're gonna lay back. You can also do this next exercise with your feet on the floor. But I'm gonna take both legs to a tabletop. So right now, that bowling ball has to be on my torso. My arms are glued by my rib cage, shoulders down, chest open. Do not move your left leg, not even an inch. I'm gonna slide my right leg out and then in. So I'm not going any wider than that mat. And I'm only going an inch or so away from my frame. I've got to anchor down my core. So this is core two. But right now, I'm working on three things, okay? The first one is pelvic stability. Are you anchoring down the core, pulling it in and up, and not letting the pelvis move? I'm also working on strengthening my outer thigh, my AB ductors, my outer hip. At the same time, with the pelvis, I'm working on keeping my core engaged because there's something moving, and I want to keep my back to the mat. Does that make sense? So I got news for you. 
You can't be thinking about anything else in your life right now other than what your body is feeling and where you're working from. You're welcome. One more. And put both feet down, and you can let your back arch. Just give it a little bit of a break. Whatever feels good to you, do. All right. When you're ready, if you need a longer break, take it. I'm going to take my legs back to that tabletop. Put that bowling ball on that torso. The right leg stays still. My left leg will float out and back in. It's not changing shape. I'm keeping that nine degree angle. I push it out, come back in. Try to have those shins parallel to the floor. Make note of what your back is doing. Is the core working? Is the right leg staying still? I almost feel like my right leg is pushing away to keep it from going with that left leg. If you want a breath pattern, it'd be inhale in the out, exhale in. You got four more to go, stay with me. And three, good. And two, last one. And take your feet down. I'm gonna bridge up. Lovely, we love bridges. They just feel good. And then come back down. Once you take the right leg straight up, I'm going to reach it long in front of me, lower it, and bring it back up. So this is the first way I'll do this. I have my back on the floor. I'm always pushing the opposite foot down. Yep. Now, if you want to add on to this, make it more challenging, lift up your hips. Keep them up as you lower and lift. Lower. Lift. Hips should be in a straight line. Stabilize that pelvis from the core. Three, two. Now let's have a little bit more fun. Let's lower the hips as the leg goes straight. Let's bend the knee and lift into that bridge. So I go into like a tabletop, but a little bit closer. I press my leg out, I lower down. I lift up, draw the knee in. Press out lower. You don't have to lower and lift, you can stay down. Inhale, press out, exhale, lift. Inhale down, exhale up. Two more, one more, and release. How'd that go? That left leg is saying hello. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, this should never be easy. Never, ever, ever. Bring that left leg straight up. We keep coming back for more, so we must feel pretty good. <laughs> okay, that's right. So anchor down the hips, put that bully ball on your torso, arms right next to your side. My left leg now is going to reach long. It goes down and up. Inhale down, exhale up. If I move too fast, I can't get my breath pattern. I can't feel my abdominals working. It's just too fast. I feel out of control. You want control in this. And three, and remember, you can keep doing exactly what you're doing right now. Otherwise, I'm gonna press up in my bridge. And I lower that leg, but keep that bridge up. Hips need to stay in a straight line. So if you lower your leg and you feel yourself twisting, lifting up in this bridge is not for you. I need you to stabilize. Inhale up, exhale down. Now next level, I'll lower my leg, I'll lower my seat. Drive the knee towards me, lift up in that bridge. Press out, drive it in. Press out, drive it in. Four, can you feel that right foot knee? Oh yeah, that butt cheek's working. Two more. One more, and put that foot down. Give you a nice bridge, hips up, and we'll lower it down. Take your time, all the air out, and hug those knees in. Woo -hoo. That's right, we felt it. Rock yourself up. Okay, we're gonna come onto our side. Doing okay? A lot of hips, a lot of glutes. So I'll talk about extra props that you can use. You can grab a ball and put it underneath here to help support this. You can grab a pillow. You can also be laying all the way down on your side. So if this is not cold for you, now what's gonna keep you cold is lifting the rib cage up, squeeze a lemon out of that armpit, and the shoulder should be directly over that elbow. All right, so my knees are stacked here. 
My feet are together. I can either hold this here for balance. I can put it behind my head. You do what works for you. I'm gonna lift this leg up as I push my bottom leg down. Up. I don't move fast. Nothing else is moving. My neck should be in line with my spine. If your neck is feeling strained, look down at your elbow. The opposite leg is pushing down as you lift this top leg up. So there's a lot to Pilates. You can't just take one class and think everything is connecting together. It won't. It's a process. Be very patient, but it's well worth the wait and effort. Boom. Keep this engaged. If you need a reminder, put your hand there and keep lifted off that hand for three and two. Hold this one here. Can you kick that leg out? Can you bring it back to the toes and then drop it down? Clam. My belly's got to go in deeper so I'm going further away from it and retrace. Now, if you prefer to just do a regular clam without this kicking out, perfect. Two more. Inhale. Two. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Now, I want you to reach this leg all the way out. I don't care what you do with your hands. And we're going to lift it parallel and down. Make sure. I'm going to check and make sure I'm in line with my hip. And then I'm going to look forward. How are we doing with these? Are we doing okay? You need a break? No? Okay. So everything along this side of my body is working. I hope you feel that. And three. Hang tight. Two. Now hold this one up and bend your knee. Now I'm going to try to keep my inner thigh dusting a shelf. I'm going to take my knee forward and then back. I'm going to exhale forward, get the air out of your center, and squeeze those abdominal muscles. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Watch this isn't getting tired. Keep that armpit squeezing that lemon. Keep this rib cage lifted. You got it. Just two more. Just two more. In and then out. Last one. Now, if you want extra credit, hold it back here. I'm going to lower towards the mat and lift. Oh my goodness. Are we still friends? <laughs> it's okay. Sure. Down, up, four. Down, up, three. Down, up, two. And one. Bring it forward. And we'll sit back. Swing it around. Oh my. Stretches are coming. Stretches are coming. <laughs> Okay, so again, if it can't be like this, you can lay all around that arm, right? Use a ball to prop up on. Make sure you got a straight line here. Hand pulls up that rib cage. Squeeze that lemon. I'll be ready. Knees to the top edge of your mat. Up and then down. So I can't collapse this because look what that does to my shoulder. I want you pushing the bottom leg down as you lift up. You can have a hand here. You might feel more like it's opening the front of your body. Do what works for you. Take your time. Inhale. Exhale. Drop it. Looks good, ladies. Where's all the guys at today, huh? <laughs> all right, that's add on if you want it. Clam. Extend, find it, return. I'm gonna exhale especially as I lengthen. I need that belly to be pushing in deeper. If this hurts your hip, do not extend that leg out. You've gotta use your glutes the further out, glutes and core. Two more. One more. Good. Now I'm going to lengthen that top leg. I'm going to lift it up and then down. You're so close to being done with this side stuff. <laughs> and the hips are doing great. Up and down. Do you feel heaviness on your shoulder? 
grab behind that rib cage and pull. You got it. Also pushing this arm gently into my mat to lift me up. Four, I didn't lose you. Three, belly in and up. Two, hold it up, bend your knee. Now this is equal to this. I'm gonna dust a shelf with my inner thigh. Belly, then hips and glutes. Exhale, inhale. Try not to drop that knee. Try to keep pressure against that band. Ah, I know. Exhale, can you feel it here? Yes. Okay, Debbie answers for all you guys. <laughs> Thank you Debbie, and now hold it back. I'm gonna lower up towards the mat, just a parallel. Don't get sloppy with your shoulder now. Four, I'm still pushing my bottom leg down. Three, la la la, two, and one, and release. Let's take that band off. And I'm gonna just sit here in a cross-legged position for a second. And walk my hands forward. How's that feel, okay? <laughs> I see you back there. <laughs> oh, I love it. Love it. Now do butterfly stretch. Hit the bottoms of your feet. Grab onto your ankles. Elbows will push against those knees. Enjoy that nice little stretch. Okay, you ready to work again? Okay. Turn to one side of your mat. Take the band behind the arches of your feet again. And you choose how far out you need to go to have the band tight, okay? So I want you to come back into this diagonal. So I don't want you to be here. I'm just slightly back. I'm gonna tuck my tail. This is teaser. I'm gonna tuck my tail. The band's gonna help me. Just the lower back. Throw yourself back up and then zip up. Exhale, just have the lower back touch. Bring it up, inhale. So my eyes are gonna go down my thighs to my navel, and then up my thighs and out in front of me. I exhale, I inhale. Round and tuck, make sure those knees are bent. Now this time, I want you to see her back. Then I want you to pull the elbows wide and then stretch them back out. Exhale, I'm gonna look into my navel. Pull. So I'm pulling my thumbs towards my armpits, squeezing those back muscles. I strengthen and then I lengthen. Take your time. Three and two and one. Let's bring it down, down, down. Are we all the way down? And I should feel that band kind of pulling my shoulders down. I'm gonna draw my chin to my chest. Find that lower back. Peel yourself up to an inhale. Arms are straight, knees are bent, exhale. If going all the way down is not for you, don't do it. Draw that chin to your chest, find that lower back. Inhale up, exhale, melt those shoulders, melt those shoulders. Woo, one more. Eyes to belly. Inhale, and on the exhale, press those legs straight out and reach forward, I'm gonna let go of my band, and grab onto my leg and reach. I'm sorry. <laughs> it didn't break, did it? No. I'm like, geez. <laughs> grab on and pull forward. You got it. Okay. All right, so let's take the band around our ankles. And let's come into a quadruped position. Before I move on, I'm gonna give you a nice little stretch here because you deserve it, you work know, so hard. Keeping the smiles on your faces, well, for the most part. So I want you to take your left knuckles onto the mat. My palm is facing up. I'm gonna thread through that needle. I'm just give me a nice little stretch. Good. Then press through that bottom hand to lift you back up. And then my right knuckles are on the mat. I follow it. Inhale. 
on the exhale. And then bring it back up. Okay, so I'm going to take my left part of my band and put it behind my foot. And the other one's on my ankle. And all I want you to do is press that foot up and then down to parallel to the other leg. I'm lifting it up. Now, depending on how tight your band is, you might not be able to lift very high at all. Without the band, I can usually get my knee in line with my hip. Can you feel that butt cheek firing to bring that leg up? Yes? Okay. Exhale. Squeeze into those armpits. Press and release. Just three more. You can go down to your forearms if you need it. Two more. Belly pulls in like crazy. Last one. Bring it back down. I'm just going to stay in front of me and come onto my forearms and just take my palms up to the ceiling. And just curl my knuckles towards my wrists. Okay, I'm going to switch the band. So I'm going to take the right side behind the foot. The left side is behind my ankle. This is how I like to do it. Some people keep it behind both feet. Some people keep it behind both ankles. I do both, foot and the ankle. All right, shoulders over wrist. Pull that belly in so I shouldn't be collapsed like this. Hide those shoulder blades. Are we ready? And we lift up and then down. Do you notice is one glute weaker than the other? Is this side easier to press up? Exhale up, inhale down. Crown the head is like a flashlight in front of you. Squeeze into those armpits. Exhale up. Inhale down. Don't forget those shoulders. Squeeze those lemons in those armpits. Where's your head? Nice and long. Neck is long. Three more. Up and down. Two more. Press. And come down. And one more. Good. Now let's have both behind the ankles. I'll stretch back, and this time my arms can come behind me. Okay. So we're going to do a variation of swimming. So it's come all the way onto our stomachs. And I have to keep my band tight so my legs are as wide apart as I need them to be. All right. So I'm going to start with my arms in a goal post. So I don't have them straight out like our traditional swimming. I'm starting in a goal post. <coughs> my feet are down. They're heavy. My belly's pulling in. Shoulders are relaxed. All I want you to do is lift the arms, head, and chest. Here I am. I want you to push those arms straight out. Bend your elbows back to the goal post and lower them down with your head and chest. If that was not cold for your back, I want you to keep your arms on the mat and just press up to lift the chest and then come back down. That's another option you can do. So I'm gonna lift up my arms, head and chest. I'm looking down at my mat. As soon as I started to lift, I had to fire my glutes. Now push out, pull that belly in deeper, bend the arms back to your goal post and come back down. Try that again. Inhale up. Exhale, elbows back and release. Now we're gonna add the legs. So this time when I lift my head and chest and my arms, my legs are gonna go with me. So everything is gonna lift up. Push the arms out. Now pull the elbows back as the legs press out and I come up a little higher. Release the tension on the band, bring the arms back out in front of you and come back into your goal post, head, legs, chest, down. Is that too much to do at one time? You listening, okay? Okay, so everything's gonna lift. That's the easy part. Everything lifts, bam. Now just the arms are gonna reach out like we did, out in front of you. Now, thumbs are gonna go towards your armpits. I'm gonna push my band out further, lift my head and chest up a little higher, retrace those steps, come back down. I'm in my goal post. One more like that. Everything lifts, inhale, exhale. Push those arms out like a shoulder press. Now elbows go wide. Lift up the chest, thumb to armpit, press against that band. 
retrace your steps and come back down. Now this time, I'm gonna change it. Don't tune me out. Everything, everything lifts up. Press the arms out. Keep the arms out, swim the legs, one up, one down. Squeeze the booty, keep tension on your band. That's the hard part, because that's one's pushing down, that one's pushing up. Four, three, two, one, and release. Stretch back, you deserve that. Don't move too fast. Scoop the belly and round the back. Everybody okay? Okay, so plank is next. You can choose forearm plank or straight arm plank. You can also choose if you move the leg out to each side, alternating a tap, okay? When you get tired and you start to feel pressure in that lower back, come back onto your knees just like this. Got it? So the bands are on my ankle still. Squeeze into those armpits, draw the belly in, and straighten those legs out. Now, if you want the extra work, I'm gonna tap my right toes to the right edge of my mat, come back in, and then left. Now, I can't have my booty shift up in the air or my hips go towards my mat if I move my legs. I gotta pull my belly in twice as much, squeeze those armpits, twice as much, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. We should all do this for five minutes if we're squeezing the armpits and pulling that belly in. We should feel all this support. Should we try it? No. <laughs> all right, so I can show you we're still listening. Last one, and we come down, and we release those wrists. Gladly, right? <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Slide that band off. And I want you to come into a high kneel. You doing okay? Let's ditch the band for just a second. If your wrists are still feeling cranky, give me some wrist circles. How are our wrists feeling? Cranky? Like feeling they've been flexed too much? Yeah, a little, a little sore. Okay, little so cranky. do me a favor then. Sit back on your heels. If you have to, sit on your booty. This is a, um, a release for your wrists. So you're gonna start in a prey position and you're gonna open up until the knuckles are touching. Point your fingertips towards you and then trace down the center towards me and back in. So I just made a big circle with my wrists. Open the book, fingertips point to you. They go down, they press out, they come back. I'm gonna turn sideways, that's gonna be better to see. Open up the book, fingers to you, come down, away, together, and last one. So this always makes my wrist feel better after all of that. Okay, you good? Okay, so we're gonna do our side kick series, if we have time. 10 minutes, that's it. So you mirror me, take this leg out. Now you gotta make sure everything is pushing forward, otherwise your booty sticks out and your hips aren't where they should be. I should feel my hips opening. I'm gonna take my arms out like a T. I'm gonna go to this little diagonal here. Now my foot is gonna slide towards me because I'm gonna reach out and my hand's gonna go behind my head. My back heel should be directly behind my knee. I'm squeezing into my armpit. Then I'm gonna lift this leg up and then down. Up and then down. Up and down. I'm using everything on this side of my body to move my leg. And three, and two, and one. I want you to slide this leg further out and come down. And we're gonna do some inner thigh work. So we're gonna come all the way down on our side. And I want this leg, we were just working, right? We're lifting this leg. I want you to straighten the bottom leg and take that leg in front. Grab behind the ankle. So I have my leg reaching diagonally like this, this bottom leg. Hip over the top of hip. Cover this foot over your mat. And we're gonna go up, 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 and down. Up, 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 down. Up, up, up. So it's really important that you always balance your body. So pushing on that band was working a lot of our outer thigh 
we need to make sure we're also hitting that inner thigh. Can you feel the inner thigh lifting this leg as well as your belly? Lifting it up, lifting it up. I hover. My heel should be slightly higher than my toes. And if you had a ball or a toss cushion, toss pillow, you can put it right here and drop this leg onto it. That's going to take that out of that hip. And I want you to hold this one up and give me little pulses. As high up as you can. Pull that belly in deeper the higher up that leg goes. Remember, you don't have to prop up. You can lay down and completely give that wrist a break. Can you feel that inner thigh lifting as I push the other foot down? Now hold it up, point the toes, and bring it up again. Two, three, hello inner thigh. Woo hoo hoo. Give me eight more here. Make sure those shoulders and neck are relaxed. Five, four, three, two, one, release. Stack these legs, bring them back to parallel. You can lay all the way down the arm if you'd like. I'm gonna take my top leg slightly, just slightly higher than hip height. My bottom leg is gonna press up to it. Relax the shoulders. I push my free hand into the mat. You have to engage the muscles to make them work. They don't just work because you're moving. Can you feel the bottom leg, inner thigh, pulling you up, yes or no? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Debbie. <laughs> Four. Debbie H. <laughs> I have two. And one. And lower them both down. Bend your knees. And we're going to come back up into that high kneel position. Break is over. Now time's over. <laughs> so we're back into those side series. And that feels good to lengthen this leg out right now. Can you feel that nice little stretch? It's like, ah. All right, hips are forward, arms are long. I go into this diagonal. I'm gonna slide my hand a little further out. Hand goes behind my head. Squeeze a lemon under that armpit. And I lift up and down. Exhale, inhale. Watch that belly's pulling in and up. Take your time, reach those toes longer, and it's same speed up, same speed down. Good. And three. And two. And one. I'm going to bring this leg a little closer so I can come down. All right. So I can prop up or lay my head down. I'm going to take my legs more into a 45. Take your top leg, bend that knee, and grab behind the ankle. And also brought my hips more stacked. All right, so I'm going to hover my bottom leg, which is straight. And remember, it's reaching a 45 degree. I'm going to go up, up higher, up higher. I hover. Up, 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 hover. Lift, inner thigh, <coughs> belly. Heel is slightly higher than your toes. You can lay all the way down that arm, remember. Up, up. I'm keeping this bottom rib cage nice and light. You got it. Two more. I'm gonna hold this one all the way up. Point your toes and pulse. Two, three, four, five. Seven. Can you give me eight more? Try to get higher. Seven. Six. Scoop that belly in deeper. Four. Three. Two. One. Lower down. Stack the legs and bring them back to center. And you can still be propped up. You can lay your head down. My top leg is going to pry itself up slightly higher than hip height. My bottom leg. Bam. Feel the core pulling in and up to bring that leg up. Relax the shoulders. It's like a vacuum. Magnets on those inner thighs. The glutes will fire a little bit, but make sure your shoulder and neck are relaxed. You got it. Hopefully you can feel this. Pretend like you got a big ball between the upper thighs. 
and you're pressing into that ball. Four, it's just my bottom leg moving. Three, my top leg stays there. Two, and one, and release. I'm gonna roll onto my stomach. I'm gonna make a pillow with my hands. I'm gonna go into a quad stretch. So I want you to bend your left leg, keep your hip on the floor, reach back with your left hand, see if you can grab onto your foot, and pull your heel towards your glute. Another variation is to press that bottom hand into the mat, lift up the head and chest a little bit more, lengthen that arm, press that foot more into the hand, and feel like that quad is lifting almost up off the mat. But keep your hips on the mat. Release, and now we'll bend the right knee, reach back and grab onto that foot, pull that foot to the glute, make sure you're not tilted, hips are square, both of them on the mat, if you want, press into that bottom hand. I lift up my chest, and I feel like my quad is getting lighter on my mat, and I'm pressing more into that hand. And gently release it, and we'll stretch back into a child's pose, sweeping that belly and rounding that back. Now, while you're here, give me a nice big, big breath. Inhale. Exhale, can you feel the back, the rib cage opening as you inhale? And we'll exhale. Okay, let's finish with mermaid. So we're gonna come on to our one side. You're gonna mirror me. We're gonna stack the knees. I'm gonna use my hand to grab onto my back shin to hold me up. If that's not enough, separate the knees wider. We're gonna inhale, anchor down this hip. Exhale, arms out like a T, palms up. Bring your elbow to the floor and forearm, and we'll stretch this direction. Inhale to exhale. Hook, inhale, wonderful side stretch. Exhale, one more. Inhale, and exhale. Stay in your powerhouse, switch those legs around. I didn't release my core. Grab onto the back shin. Inhale. Exhale. And keep the hips pushing down towards the heels. Hook. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Good. Now we're going to stretch the glutes. So take those legs long right in front of you. Cross your right ankle over the left quad. Hand by the knee, hand by the foot. Hinge forward. And then I'll round over. Can you feel that in your right glute? I hope so. Bring it back up. Switch the leg. My left ankle crosses over that quad. My knees pointing away from the center. Hinge. Relax the neck and shoulders. Now I'm going to pull that knee in that was just bent. And I'm going to keep it with me as I lie back. Now I'm pulling my knee right in the center while the opposite leg is reaching long. Now I take that left knee to the outside of your left shoulder, but don't take the right hip with you. Then straighten this leg all the way up. Grab as high up as you can. Inhale, exhale, pull a little closer towards you. Inhale, exhale. Lower that leg all the way down. Other knee comes into center. Two hands pull it as the opposite leg stretches long. You can stay just like this, or you can take that right knee to the outside, that right shoulder, but the left hip does not go with you. Breathe. Lengthen that leg all the way up to the ceiling. Stretch that hamstring. And again, you're going to breathe, inhaling and exhaling. One more, inhaling and exhaling. Good. 
hug these knees in. You're gonna gently rock it, and I'm gonna take my knees a little wider, so I feel like my hips are opening more. I'm gonna cross my ankles and rock myself up. Give me a nice big inhale up. Exhale, grow taller, and give me one more. Inhale, zip it up, and exhale. Release, and you made it. Woo, how those hips feel? Be honest. Can we, can we walk out of here? 